Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. My name is Dr. Zahir Osman. I'm a senior lecturer from Faculty of Business Management, Open University of Malaysia. Today, I'm going to introduce to you all a book, a research methodology book. Title is Research Method for Business, a Skill Building Approach by Roger Boogie and Uma Sekaran, published by Wiley. This book is designed for the student to conduct their research in a correct manner and also to provide the techniques implementing the research. By having this book, the student will guide a very useful insight on how to conduct a research so that they will produce a very useful and relevant outputs and results from their research. By having this book, the student will gain all the necessary skill and knowledge in order to complete their research project from chapter 1 to chapter 5, including all the components that required to produce a good research project. It involves the dissertation and also the thesis for doctoral level. First, this book will guide the student on how to write a research problem. Many students, sometimes they make a mistake on how to differentiate between research issue and research problem. So in this book, the student will be taught how to differentiate between research problem and also research issue. Then the student will be guided as well on how to write a critical review. This is a very important component in writing a research. The critical review will be taught in a very simple manner where the student can easily understand what the author try to uh, explain to the student. And then also this book will guide the student properly in developing a research method for their study. <coughs> in the research method part <coughs> of this book, the student will be guided on how to develop a research framework how to identify the independent variable, dependent variable, mediator, moderator. All these are very important components when the student want to develop a research framework. Then the student will be guided on how to develop a research design. Research design is very important in doing research because it will determine the outcome of the research. Also, this book will guide in detail eh, on how to develop a questionnaire, how can the student adopt and adapt the questionnaire from previous study, and how to conduct the validity and also the reliability of the questionnaire. After that, student will be guided on how to confirm the sampling technique. There are various sampling techniques that the student can use in their research. In this book, the student will be taught on how to use sampling techniques such as probability sampling and non-probability sampling. So this will strengthen the student skill and knowledge on how to develop their research method when they want to perform their research in their study. This book also emphasizes uh, qualitative analysis. Uh, this book will guide the student all the steps that involve in data collection if they want to conduct their study based on qualitative approach. Overall, this book will guide the student from first component of research, which is introduction, until the end of the research, the last component, which is the discussion and conclusion. By having this book, the student will get a very useful knowledge and also information to ensure that they will do well in their research. That's all my presentation of the book review about research method. I strongly encourage all students to visit our digital library at second floor Menara OUM Kelanajaya. Our library environment is very conducive with the great and beyond. Also, the facilities that we have in the library meets the needs of the student in their learning. On that note, 
Thank you for watching and listening my presentation.